Good morning and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. In today's video, we are going to start working on a design team project. Ooh, ooh. So I have here the Tracy Fox Creative Just Chillin' kit. And I don't have the whole thing printed. It's a really nice size kit. There's um, TN pages, there's landscape pages. Um, there's a bunch to the kit. And she did such a wonderful job. And look at me go, I use my Cricut. <laughs> to cut these ephemera pieces so we have some ephemera here some butterflies that are in the kit so we have a little bit of ephemera now i printed some of the tn images i didn't print the whole thing i just printed a few images that i really liked and i don't have any idea what i'm going to do with it yet so i have five images um that i had chosen i printed seven like i love this one but I don't know if I'm going to use all seven or not. I need to leave them in here though, so I have them. But I tried to pick some with some pops of color and a variety of color. So like this has kind of the, the rose and the burgundy. Um, this one is kind of like orange, coral, gold, um, greens and pinks. I'm not really sure. This kind of has a green and pink hue to it as well. But I love her dress and she just kind of is like the book's laying aside and she's like, yeah, I'm over it. I want to go do something fun. Um, this again has some pinks and oranges and blues. I just love the tones in these. This one's very teal, very fun and very eclectic. And so I, I printed it because I love it, but it, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll decide when I get where I'm going, I suppose. And then this I pulled for the oranges. And then um, the, I printed a couple pages of tags. Um, three pages of tags and then these are just some other little pieces that go with it and then a couple pages of pockets so I don't know what I'm going to do yet um, something different so we're going to do something different for sure so these are TN but for me they print it differently because Tracy creates a four and I'm in the U.S. so letter size so these printed at seven inches tall and seven and three eighths wide so what I think we're going to do, I'm going to dig in my bin that's just here below me and see what kind of book pages I have in there and then decide what kind of a project I want to make because I don't know. I just printed a few bits and I thought, meh, we'll see where it takes us. So I think I have an idea and I think I want to kind of see if I can make it work. <laughs> We know how when I start things out like that, we know what kind of a mess it's going to be, right? <laughs> okay. So we have, I tore these all down and I've inked around the edges with my Distress Ink Ground Espresso. You guys know that's one of my favorite colors. And I just have the five images. No, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five images here. I have the other two set aside in case we need them. But I don't think I'm going to need them because I'm trying to tell myself, think small, Jody. Think small. Small project. You can do it. I have some sheets of music paper here that I have cut down to eight and a quarter inches tall. A standard TN is 4.25 wide and eight and a quarter tall. So these printed, what I say, seven by seven and three eighths. So eight and a quarter might be a little bit too tall, but we're going to go with it. We're going to just roll with it and see what happens. Um, so this is just regular music paper and um, I, it's not super strong music paper, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. What I want to do is I have to do some math. Oh Lord, it might be too late in the day for me to be trying to math. It's uh, almost four o'clock and uh, <laughs> we know how it goes when I try to do math this late in the day. Okay, so if I say... I need like an inch and a half here, okay? And then I'm gonna go four and a half. So one, two, three, four and a half puts me at six. Okay, and then another four and a half puts me at 10 and a half. And I don't mind this flap, this flap is fine, okay? So I think then what I'm going to do, cause that gives me, Okay, this little flap has a purpose. It's kind of like this little piggy stays home. <laughs> oh my gosh, baby. That little flap has a purpose. Then this is going to fold like so, maybe. And then this one's going to fold like this, maybe. 
Mm -hmm. And so then this one, I'm just going to score a four and a half. And at nine. Mm -hmm. So then that's gonna go in there like that. That's gonna give us a little pocket maybe. And this one's gonna fold this way. I have no idea what I'm doing. So if you're like, you're doing that wrong, uh, I probably am, but that's okay. And then that's gonna fold that way. Maybe I need to score it a little bit more so that it folds a little better. So then we're gonna be like, yeah, I didn't score that. What did I score that at? What did I do? Four and a half, there, yeah, and nine here. I just folded it wonky, maybe. Maybe. But it's also not very strong paper, so it's probably not liking what I'm doing to it. Okay. So then we're just going to work on this because I don't want to have too many pages. And I have to tell you, I have the most perfect paper pad to go with this, but it's like a work in progress progress. I don't know if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know I had started the inspiration journal back when we were in Arizona in winter of 22, I guess. And um, I that paper pad actually matches the colors of this beautifully, but, but I don't want to use this for that. I'm trying to tell myself, be simple. And then of course I'm not being simple. Okay, so this would be like, it's going to be a flap for our cover or whatever we decide to do on our cover. Then we have our pocket here and we can put her on here and we can embellish, decorate, whatever. And so she'll be in that fold, right? And then we can have a pocket here with, I don't know, some ephemera in it, right? And then we can do a page of pockets, maybe. Pretend, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. This is gonna help me know how many pages we need. Okay, so that's a maybe there. This is just all speculating maybes, okay? So then, one, two. So we need another bit. Let me just fold her in half. Then I can just clip her here. Okay, so then, so she'll be in there, pages of ephemera. And then that folds like that. So then we have, this is getting to be a little bit big for a pocket, but that's okay. We're going to go with it. And I actually, stick with the program, Jody. Stick with the program. We're gonna do this one at four and a half again. And this one at nine again. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. Mm -hmm. And that's going to go like a soul. Okay. Then, so maybe, I don't, maybe I'll do that kind of there. Hang on, so what does that look like on this side? Hmm. I don't know if I like that or not, but we could maybe cover that and make it like that's a pocket, but... Okay, so you can see kind of where I'm going with this. I have to work this out in my brain. I still have Christmas on the brain. I just cleaned up Christmas today and got it all put away. So I'm trying to get out of Christmas mode. Um, so I have to finish uploading two videos for Christmas in July, but then that's all done. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is new to me, so I'm trying to work this out in my head like how this is going to play out. Now this overlaps, but that doesn't mean that I have to have the pocket on this side. 
but I don't want to see my seams on my folds either. I think that's what she said. I can't remember. I have a note here whose video I watched that gave me this idea. Um, cause I actually thought I was going to do an accordion journal for Christmas in July, but I didn't do that. Did I? Okay. So an image there, we have ephemera here. So we need another image is what we need. So I'm wondering if I take this off, flip this around and just wherever that four and a quarter is, join it, right? Where's my ruler? You are seeing it live here. I am figuring it out. So that is my so if I say four and a quarter there and bring this fold over to zero there. Okay, yeah. And then this will be another image here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that works. And then we can have just ephemera here, right? And then, no, because I have to have a flap. We need another flap for the back cover. So do, 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 do. It'll be okay. Yeah, we could do another page of ephemera pockets here. Because we could always add. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I could do. No, I can't. Okay, I got it figured out. I think I have it worked out. I think. So. I just hope I can explain it in a way that we'll understand it. So, this is gonna be my back. And this is my front. Okay, so um, this is gonna be my front flap. So this is going to be attached to whatever our cover is, okay? So then we open and we have an image. We flip and we're gonna have ephemera pages. Flip and we'll have an image, ephemera, and then this is gonna be our back cover here, but we're gonna be able to open that and have ephemera, image, ephemera, image, and back to our front cover. So probably on these sheets that don't have, I have stuff on both sides of that one. I just don't have stuff on both sides of this one. So we'll just, Put some, I'm just kind of paper clipping so that I understand kind of where I'm going with it. I have to see if I have a cereal box or something downstairs that I can disassemble. I don't think, um, oh, I have the fudge bar box from not using that for creep on June. And I have her that I think she'll be our cover image. I think she'll be pretty on the front and she's narrow enough that I can I can come over here and tear and then come over here and tear. And because our front cover is going to be slightly wider than four and a quarter. So I think our front covers, our covers will be, are going to be like four and a half wide by maybe, I think I'll leave, um, I'm either going to leave the height or add a quarter of an inch to the height. I'm not sure. I don't think with the way this is, like even if I put trim on here, I don't have to have it hanging down below. It can just trim out the image and I can push the images to the front and that gives me quite a bit of room to run some lace if I want around it or however I want to do that. So we're going to work that out. Um, so just to recap, I just took my sheet music and whatever size it is, mine just happened to be 12 inches, this particular sheet music. And I started scoring at one and a half. Now I did tear that last piece. I did tear some off. I didn't need that flap. It made my layout of alternating images and ephemera not work. So um, yeah, so I think once we start getting stuff glued down, it's going to be fine. I do want to do some sewing and I really want to have this very tactile with sewing and um, trims and you know whatever so and I may not do two pockets on a page. I may only do one pocket on a page. That just gives me an idea but I want to start with the main images I think and get those down. 
will be, I need to die cut some flowers and some colors. I don't know what colors yet. I was digging through a bin of French ephemera that my mother-in-law brought me back from France last year. And there's some really cool letters in that, but like, um, this is French in the background, I believe, but I don't know what she's reading. So I thought that would be kind of cool. We could stabilize and maybe make a side pocket if we wanted to. There's no actual journaling space in here with the way that I am building this. So that's something also that we could do. Maybe on the ephemera pages, we stitch in a little bit of paper or we add a um, little notebook in here somewhere. I don't know yet, but that's my brainstorming. And um, I'll get this posted for you so you know that I'm starting on the design team project. And I will figure out my cover. This is awfully shiny. I'll figure out my cover and I will figure out what I want to use on it. I think I want to use fabric and I think I know what fabric I want to use. I just have to see if it matches this or not. But I like all the different colors and the fun colors in here. So this is a kit that just came out. Um, so go over to Etsy and or Tracy's website and check out that kit. It's really pretty and it's a pretty good size kit. And the ephemera is great. I mean, there was a whole sheet of butterflies. Who doesn't love butterflies? I love them, so pretty. Okay, lots of things we can play with. So anyway, uh, if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. We are going to have some fun with this. I'm hoping that it's not going to be an enormous project. Um, I was trying to tell myself, keep it simple, Jody. Keep it simple, Jody. <laughs> but we know that's not how I roll when I start building journals. But this is more fun. I don't know. I don't know. I need to build a journal, but I don't know. This is just something kind of different. And it's kind of a spin. I guess it's, an, it's a spin on an accordion journal. And who was that? I have to be careful. I have pr private information in here. Oh, it was Seven Plaza. I watched it in, in, in May. It was her accordion book. So she actually gives much better instructions than I'm giving. So, but that's where I got my inspiration. You know, I like to try to share the inspiration. So I'll see you guys in the next video when I have it worked out a little bit better. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. I have to pull some trims and stuff too. I haven't really done anything other than trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this. So, well, just kidding. I told you guys I was going to be back in the next video. Did anybody catch that I was scoring this at four and a half, not four and a quarter? So I cannot use the ice cream box because um, it's not going to be wide enough um, for me to, well, the panel I cut is now an error. So um, the, the front cover has to be like four and three quarter because I scored these at four and a half not four and a quarter. So is it really TM size? Eh, no, but we're going to roll with it. It's the Jody version of a TM size. And I told you guys I shouldn't be starting a project at four o'clock in the afternoon, but it's okay. We're going to roll with it. And I think actually that's going to be a good size, the four and a half with these images, because it gives me room on each side to work with. And I think that if I had not had that, if I had done a four and a quarter panel, it would have taken away uh, probably not that much in the scheme of things, a half an inch overall, but I think we'll be happy with this. It's going to give us room to do whatever we want and have a border on here. So an actual TN is four and a quarter, not four and a half. I scored this at four and a half. I am not going to waste all this music sheet because I made a mistake. Mistakes happen. What do we do? We just adapt and overcome. So I really will be back in the next video now, but don't follow my math. If you want it to be a true TN, use the four and a quarter, not four and a half like I did.